Hi YouTube, this is Bayou here. Today is April 12th, 9.04 p.m. Central Time. I was doing my uh, mandatory Russian news reading about the war in uh, Ukraine and I found this uh, site, of course it's Russian. No, I don't speak Russian fluently. I just know maybe 200 words. But I just click on CC, close capture, and then I click on setting and change automatic uh, language. And then it tells you, once you click on setting, uh, uh, Russian auto-generated, and then you click in there, and then you can automatically uh, translate it to English. Of course, the translation is not 100% uh, effective but it's a 98.5 okay enough for you to understand the main scope of the information but this is what I have for you uh, last week the problem started in Mariupol when the uh, Chechenian forces the Russian infantry were pushing and clearing Mariupol outside because it came from the east, they were coming in from the east, from the north, and from the south. So all three three groups were pushing in, pushing in, pushing in. So they left no room for the assault pukes to escape. All of a sudden, one of the reports that I hear, of course in Russian, that uh, they shut down uh, one helicopter that was coming in and uh, it blew up even before they landed on, on the special special little kind of peninsula, a small little piece of land where they had the factory, the steel mill factory. I said, okay. Hmm. Unconsciously, in the back of my head, it says, you know, we have a rat in there. That they, 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 they were trying to save the rat. The next day, immediately in the evening, two helicopters, uh, they were trying to do uh, the same number, sneak in at night time, fly real low, land and try to rescue somebody. So what the, uh, I don't know if it was the Chechenians or the uh, 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 the Russian uh, uh, naval infantry, but uh, what they did was they blew one up, one helicopter up, and they left the other one uh, uh, land and take somebody up and then they blew it in mid-air. Boom, you did, stupid people. And that was the end of it. Two days later, here we go, another two helicopters going to the same location, trying to do the same flying, day and day. They don't even land it. And today, uh, okay, before that, I was reading the news and I found out that one of the, uh, the commander, excuse me, not one of them, the commander of the Absolute Battalion escaped to the West under helicopter. That was surprising to me because the forces just shut down five. They knew that they, they were coming to rescue a big fight rat. And how the hell do you get this this Nazi, the main Nazi guy escaped through you know with a helicopter? So I let it go, I let it go. You know, maybe the, the guys were uh, uh, sleeping on duty, something like that. But today in this article we find that this Lieutenant General, Roger Clorier, Roger Clorier, C-L-O-U-T-E-R, has been captured in the same area of Mirupo. How do we know that? A whole bunch of reporters, Russian reporters, uh, a country friendly to Russia were questioning the Pentagon about where the abouts of this Lieutenant General Collier, C L O U T I E R, and uh, I think the the Navy uh, the, the, this 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 spokesperson is a retired admiral, Navy uh, admiral. Don't remember his name right now. Very cocky, that like he knows everything. That like he's he command of the whole world. That type of screwed up attitude. Uh, he, he went mute. He went I don't hear shit. I don't, I don't, I, I don't hear. I don't see. I don't talk. He immediately sound the alarm of uh, it is true. So 
Let me tell you what the problem is with this uh, United States Army Lieutenant General, three star. If you don't know, he was um, he was a commander. He was a commander of the uh, Allied Line Command, which is a which is a, um, a NATO command. That's right. It is a NATO command, tactical level command, command and control land forces. I like command operations. Okay. Uh, what is a navy, uh, a, a, a NATO allied commander doing in Mariupol? And and the question is, how many more NATO officers or U.S. officers uh, were with the general? Remember, a three-star they have a whole bunch of peons. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. But a whole bunch of people behind him. He's not by himself. This is going to be the same or even worse embarrassment when the uh, uh, Russian forces and the uh, glorious Syrian army surrendered and went into the bunker in Aleppo and captured officer from Egypt, EOA officer from Morocco. I mean, you have a real rat nest that the Syrian army uh, went inside and took all of them prisoners. Uh, some of them died, by the way, because uh, uh, they were killing Syrians. When you have generals like this, the main mission is to direct the war. And if you direct the war, you're giving orders to do what? To do a mission. And what happened with the mission? It's to kill Russian soldiers. So uh, NATO was there before the Russian military operation. This is a huge embarrassment. And you are the first to know because you're not going to hear this in CNN or in Fox and on Sky News. BS. They are lying to you guys. They are lying to us. We're gonna st we are at a war right now with the Russian. And you don't even know why. So what we need to find out for the Russians, even though they keep quiet, I mean, they're tied like a clamp. They send people, they send reporters to ask questions. What is this guy? What is this guy? It's basically a way to know we have him. This, this normal way to conduct a business. Uh, okay, you go over there and ask about this guy because he's not there where he's supposed to be. It's because we have them. Uh, I want to know how many more NATO allies, how many generals in total, the, uh, the Chechenians and the, uh, naval, uh, um, uh, the naval infantry, Russian naval infantry guy. Guys, I'm going to put a link on this video. Remember, you, you click on CC and then uh, you click on the little stars and uh, automatic translation and you will hear this, okay? Uh, this just came a few minutes ago, so if you see it tonight, you're gonna, you'll be ahead day and a half in front of the whole world. This is bad for NATO because NATO was planning to attack Russia. This is exactly what President Putin said. He just basically jumped the gun on them. Reacted quicker than these idiots right here. And now they're busted. Now they have the evidence that Putin is not lying. The West was lying. Okay, guys, behave. Anything like that, I'll bring you back to you quicker as possible. Talk to you later. Bye.